Okay, today we have something a little bit different than what we've seen on the videos in the past. And that is we have a commercial FETCO coffee unit in the shop for uh, repair and reinstallation. Uh, this unit was purchased for a client from a coffee shop that was going out of business and the guy actually kind of gave me a discount because he said it was leaking when um, when they were first closing down the shop and he didn't want to pay the money to have it repaired. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we've already hooked up the, uh, the electricity and the water line and we are going to go ahead and turn the uh, the machine on and uh, let's see let's see where it's leaking and if it's leaking um, and go from there all right so we've turned the unit on as you can see it's saying fill which the the, uh, the guy who sold us the unit said that it was completely empty <clears throat> so uh, now we're letting the unit fill it's gonna take um, probably about three minutes to five minutes. I just put the bucket there because I'm anticipating the leak to be coming from the top of the machine um, from the overfill, the boiler overfill underneath where the brew basket normally goes. Um, and the reason why I'm suspecting that is because the unit um, may have some lime scale buildup on the level probe and it not, might not be grounding out. And if it's not grounding out, it's gonna overfill the boiler and it'll fill into that bucket. And if it fills into that bucket, that's how we know that we have a, um, a level probe issue, or at least we're not sensing that the boiler is filled with water. Oh, look at that. We have a leak down here at the water tap. That must be where the guy said the machine was leaking from, or thought the machine was leaking from. Well, let's find a smaller bucket for that. And before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the machine off so that we can fix that leak and come back to it. One of the best tools that I carry is this vice grips that has no teeth on it. And the reason why is so that you can crimp down on a hose and get it to shut down and not have to have any problems with uh, leaking or draining the boiler. As you can see, we've removed the valve. This is where the water line comes out for the hot water tap. Valve sits right here like this and gets hooked up. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together and uh, make sure the water tap works and finish testing the machine. Alright, so we're back filling again. And uh, it looks like our water tap isn't leaking anymore. But we're still going to be a little cautious about the possibility of a leak. Coming from over there. So, the water tap could have been our only leak, but in case it's not, we don't want to damage the electronic component right here. There's two boards behind there. One's a button board, one's a power board. And together they are fairly expensive. All right, so we're done filling and we are heating up. That's awesome. And it looks like we don't have any more of a leak. Wonderful. Well, that's the, uh, the repair of the CBS 2051E FETCO hot water tap.